Hi, good morning and welcome to today's Products in Focus. So no Greek deal yesterday. Um, IMF rejected the Greek proposals and put a counter proposal together and the Greeks have said, oh no, this is unacceptable, crossing lots of red lines, etc, etc, so it was involving cuts in pensions. Uh, so most global equity markets took a little bit of um, a wobbler yesterday, uh, especially the European ones, and uh, FX is a little bit skittish as well. But US 30 trading below 18,112, looking at uh, 17,747 as next potential support, trading between two moving averages right now with a 21 period SME providing potential short term support. Pretty much where we are right now at 18,000. Moving on to the UK 100. Um, massive great Verdoji formation yesterday. Uh, a little bit of further depreciation this morning, but nothing too savage. They've obviously still got to the 30th of June to, uh, to sort out the next payment to the IMF, uh, but it just seems to be like a, a bit of a dog's dinner right now, incidentally. But the market's not really reacting that negatively to the no deal yesterday, but um, obviously still coming off the session highs. They were much higher. Uh, and right now, the food season in between two ranges, which makes it a little bit unattractive. And uh, interestingly, he's still hugging that 21 period SMA, so it seems to be significant. Moving on to Japan 225, trading below uh, its potential resistance at 28.68, and that was 18 year highs yesterday. Not that far away from there right now, still in positive territory if only just, though it does look to be that that potential resistance level is going to be a bit more um, of a struggle to break through. Moving on to dollar yen, dollar yen 124.42 is potential resistance. Uh, US GDP yesterday was, meh, it was all right. It came in slightly better than expected, but there's a number of factors that basically put, that basically meant that GDP number wasn't that fantastic relative to other GDP figures that we've had, um, and uh, people are still debating the nuances of uh, of two rate hikes rather than one. And there's still some guys who think would be lucky to get one rate hike this year, but. Uh, depending on which Fed member you speak to, they'll give you a different story, uh, and that's what's uh, what's causing a little bit of indecision on a lot of the major US dollar FX pairs today. Looking at West Texas crude, not much to say. 59.50 has been um, this kind of important strategic level for a number of sessions, and I doubt today is going to be any different. Uh, inventory data yesterday uh, came in mixed, um, as in inventories came in lower than expected, but then distillate which is the storage of the products made from crude, uh, had jumped massively. So um, that has impacted the price of West Texas slightly. Uh, gold, not really doing a huge amount, still trading below 11.86, both moving averages, with the other technical still neutral, uh, and just a, a negative crossover on the MACD there, with longer-term potential support being at the tip of this candle here, closer to 11.60 and change. And then finishing up with Euro dollar GBP USD, um, Euro dollar Interestingly, hugging that 21 period SMA. One spot 11 is in the potential short term support. And then finishing up with GBP USD. Uh, actually, a number of uh, days, five days negative, including today, which is still trading. We're trading below 157.43. That opens up one spot 56 as potential support. And maybe that 21 period SMA will catch up. We've got a negative cross on the slow stochastic. It's not yet broken the 8% level. We had a sell signal previous session the RSI and we're just about to get a crossover in the MACD so from a technical indicator perspective we could probably see an acceleration of uh, momentum down to one spot 56 where traders might take stock off their next moves um, but more importantly let's have a look at some of the economic data that's due out today because we do have some UK data you've got CBI at 11 uh, but you've got US employment claims at 130 uh, not much else throughout the rest of today's session then Friday, nothing that exciting, to be completely honest. Uh, and then if we fast forward on to Monday, we do have uh, US, uh, German retail sales, uh, German CPI, and housing index in the US. And then obviously Tuesday the 30th, uh, that's pretty much as long as Greece has to make their payment to the IMF. So I think people are probably figuring out right now what's going to happen when they miss that payment. Um, as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Uh, Michael Houston already this morning has been doing some analysis on EuroCAD, DAX, uh, Germany 30, sorry, Dollar Yen, uh, Euro Sterling, and um, insights, lots of insight here from our global analyst team. And join us again tomorrow to find out what happened next.